My name is Ulrich Stöckle. I'm head of the Trauma and Orthopedics Hospital in Tübingen, which is a 300-bed hospital dealing with orthopedics and trauma. I've been working for EFFORT for the last four years within the Trauma Task Force to get trauma more visibility within EFFORT. The Trauma Task Force has different tasks. Besides organizing the trauma program within the EFFORT Congresses, we are organizing different other formats, just like the XMAX, we had one about periprosthetic fractures in Barcelona and this year we had one expert format in Copenhagen about periarticular fractures. Both formats were very well attended and very well evaluated by the participants. Besides that, we do have other activities just like initiating multicenter studies about common fractures just like proximal humerus fractures, proximal femur fractures and um, initiate online surveys because this way we can reach um, the biggest number of participants. The Trauma Task Force session within the EFFORT Congress here in London was um, dedicated to the treatment of proximal femur fractures. We tried to figure out what implant is the best. We all know the discussions about extramedullary or intramedullary implants for the treatment of proximal femur fractures and of course the perioperative management of these fractures. So we tried to cover the problem about the anticoagulation therapy in these patients, what to do with clopidocrel and other medications, do we have to wait, or do we have to operate immediately, and really to focus on the outcome of these patients. And as kind of the main part of the session, we initiated this online survey for proximal femur fractures where hopefully a lot of the attendees, not only of the session, but the effort friends and the effort members will participate so we can get an overview about the treatment modalities for proximal femur fractures in the different European countries and in the end of course get an image of the quality of uh, the treatment of proximal femur fractures and can maybe uh, come up in the future with a common European registry which was initiated in another session with representatives of I think 12 national societies.